New build or old house, which is a better investment? Always buy an old house, don't buy a new build, if you can. Now, if you've got some zero deposit scheme that you can go on, then get the new build property. But buy an old house. The new build houses are just overpriced. So, um, yeah, always buy a new, uh, an old house and that. It's, it's the same exact example analogy with buying a brand new car. The brand new Mercedes on the full, uh, in, inside the showroom and that is 50 grand. You drive off, now it's worth 42 grand or 43 grand because it is like 7% as you drive off the fucking full court. And obviously going from 50K to 43K is not 7% of it. You understand what I'm trying to say? It's just overpriced. Yeah? It's, you're just paying for that new, that, that ribbon that comes on it or that new plastic that comes on it. That same house here, that's worth 400 grand, brand new, free bed, new build. A house around the corner that's exactly the same, very similar and that is probably worth 350 and that. You're just paying extra just because it's brand new. And that extra 50 grand is not fucking worth it. It's not worth it. The only time it's probably worth buying a property brand new is if you buy it off plan. So there's this place here in Tottenham between West Green Road and Phillip Lane called Lawrence Road. And there used to be like factories and that. People practically a, look, a lot of yardies used to break into there and have their illegal dances and that. And um, yeah, they, they knocked down all those factories and that and they built properties. And Tottenham, especially back then as well, was on a, was on an up and coming and that. And they started even calling it Soto, South Tottenham, Soto, yeah. If you bought a flat there off plan, you could have bought it for like 250. By the time the flat was built, it was worth like 315 grand. So that'd be the only time it would probably be worth buying a new build property when you buy it off plan, knowing that when it's built, it's gone up in value by 50 grand or whatever. But other than that, it's like it's like if you bought a, I mean, God forbid any of you lot are still buying PlayStations, man. Like, come on, grow up, man. Then. Yeah, this is the reason why you're failing now because you're putting your time and effort two, three hours a day, every single day or every other day into playing video games. We could do something more productive than that because you don't get nothing from playing video games, nothing but entertainment. Go entertain yourself with building up some sort of business or something that's going to bring you back some money. But it's just like buying a brand new PlayStation for, I don't know, 200 pounds. That same PlayStation, if someone is selling on eBay that's a week or a month old, it goes from £200 to £170 right then and there. And there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just that, oh, it's secondhand. So buy an old property and then renovate it and fix it up. Because at least with the, the old property, yo, that property has been sitting there in the ground for 50 years. It stood the test of time. These new, new build properties, you don't know what's going to happen to them in 50 years. I've, I've been to new build properties in Northampton. I remember I went into one one time and this girl was showing me around and that. This was years ago when I first came up to Northampton, but after I bought my property and that. She was showing me around like, why is the banister, you know like the banister, the handrail where you walk up the stairs is wood. Why is there cracks on it? Why are there cracks going up the wall and that? She said, ah, oh, because it's a new build property, the foundations haven't settled. So there's shifts in the ground and that. Imagine buying a new property and there's fucking cracks on the banister and cracks on the wall and that. That bullshit. 